Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. Spaghetti squash, I love it. It's not garden season yet, but I have some that's going to be growing in my garden. But I had to buy one, so there's that. Okay. Uh, chicken parmesan, but we're going to put it inside of spaghetti squash. Alright. Hey, the air fryer cooks spaghetti squash like a champ. So we're going to do that. You guys ready? Let's go. Chin chin. Okay, so I've split the, uh, I should say Tom did, the spaghetti squash in half. Because that's a tough job. And he's got to do something around here. Um, anyways, so cut your squash the long way like this in half. And yes, it fits in the DeLonghi air fryer, the whole thing. So I've got a melon scoop here. Um, I'm going to take the seeds out, and then I'll show you what's... Uh, you can use a regular spoon, but i got this fancy-dancy tool here that i got at Walmart. So I'm going to get the seeds out, and then I'll show you what's next. Change the angle. All right, so I've got Tang Stir Fry Oil in my Evo sprayer. It comes in a pack of two. I always have a link to my favorite things down below. Uh... It's infused with garlic and herbs. It's a beautiful oil. You will not regret getting Tang Stir Fry oil. I'm telling you that. So I'm, I'm going to use the flat pan by DeLonghi. You get that at the website. I'll put a link to that too if you're interested. Make sure you get the right pan for the model that you get. This is the 1363 model. So I'm going to spray the squash with that. And I'm going to turn this upside down in the air fryer. So I'm going to do that and change the angle and show you what it looked like. It fits in there, okay? Be right back. Look at that, huh? I mean, they're big. Just like six inches long. Okay, it's pretty, pretty nice. All right, so bottom on. Let me plug it in first. Top on. Uh, let's do, um, let me think about this. Let's do a three and a half. Last time I did this, it took about half an hour, but they were smaller than this. But I'm going to do it for 30 minutes and check to see if it's fully cooked. I'll let you know, okay? Go we that. Okay, 30 minutes exactly. Turned them over and they're really hot right now, but um, we're going to shred this with a fork just like so. They're really hot. Just like that. See how it's like skiddy? All right, so I'm going to leave that on hold for now and we're going to change everything around. We're going to do the chicken while this is cooling off. So we got the station ready. Two eggs, tablespoon of water, uh, about a cup of flour, and a cup of uh, pago breadcrumbs. I'm going to use this kind I got it at the Asian market crunchy and crisp and oh, look at that shrimp oh my gosh I love shrimp okay anyways we're gonna use that okay so let's zhuzh this up a little bit um the flour I'm gonna put some spice to it so there's uh that yeah it's from my buddy Kent from uh Daddy Dutch Barbecue I'm gonna put some of that he dehydrated all his peppers and made a nice blend so I'm gonna spice that up a little bit that's up to you. You can do some pepper blend or whatever, salt and pepper. That's totally up to you. I'm choosing to do that. It smells good. Okay, so if you can't do spicy, just put a little bit of salt in your flour. You'll be good to go. All right, so to the breadcrumbs, I'm going to put um, uh, about a tablespoon of garlic powder and um, half a tablespoon of onion powder. All right. And then I've got a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And hang on just a second, I'm missing something. All right, about a half cup of freshly grated Parmigiano cheese. Okay, so let me mix that up and I'll be right back. All right, so I had a little too much uh, breading there, so I took some out, kept that aside. I don't know if I'm gonna need it, I don't think so, but I'm gonna save this if I don't use it and do some shrimp tomorrow with that, because it's beautiful. All right, just the picture on that package just got me going. So, all right, so here we go. I'm going to use the same pan that I cooked the, uh, the spaghetti in, spaghetti squash. All right, you see it's a little dirty there. It's not a problem. I'm going to spray some olive oil like that, again, with the Evo sprayer. It's perfect for bottom spraying. Top spraying, not so much. It depends what you're cooking. It's a little, little uh, aggressive, a little bit. All right, so the month of February... Flour, egg, breadcrumb, feb. Okay, that's the order you're gonna do this. So let's go in the flour. You're gonna have one wet hand, one dry hand. Try to anyways. One yellow if you're still watching. Uh, pay attention. Speaking of one yellow, we miss you around here. My buddy one yellow. All right, so flour. My chicken is just still a little bit frozen. That's okay, the air fryer will take care of that. Just might have to cook it probably two, three minutes longer. Okay, so flour. And then egg. Man, these are thick. 
pieces of chicken. How come we can't do another month? Hi, Tom. Hi. Okay. Because it doesn't make sense. It's got to be February. Why does it got to make sense? I might have to double dip this. I'm not sure. Let me see. see it doesn't say that in February. Is anybody listening to Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that looks good. That breadcrumb is lovely. So I don't think I'm going to double dip. I think we'll be good here. Just make sure you got a nice coating going on. All right. Bigger dish would have helped, but you know, got to use the booger bowl once in a while. All right. So just like that, I'm going to lay that in the air fryer. And let me do the second piece and we'll go from there. Okay, look how beautiful that is. Very thick pieces of meat, so it's gonna take a little longer, but invest in a handheld thermometer to check the temperature of chicken and pork and whatever you're cooking, you know? So we're gonna try to get to 165 degrees on the chicken. I'm gonna turn the bottom on, the top on. Wait, let me tell you something first. You see, I'm not spraying oil on top yet. I'm gonna hit it with some of this. Bertoli extra virgin olive oil. It's got a very light mist here, sold at Walmart, and it's perfect for top spraying. It's not like it's not gonna blow the breading off there. So I'm gonna fry, I'm gonna fry this for about five minutes and then I will spray. Okay, I'm trying to get the stuff to stick to the meat first. So bottom on, top on. I'm not gonna put it on full blast. Let's let's just keep it at three and a half, just like that. And it's gonna take a while. I'm not in a hurry. I want a nice golden crust on it. I want the chicken to be fully cooked. So I'll let you know how long I cook that. Okay, so we're at the 35 minutes mark. Look how beautiful that looks. Again, I'm not in a hurry. Thick piece of chicken. I've got my thermometer here from Le Creuset. I'm going the thickest part. Oh, 170. Let's check this one. Oh yeah, we're both done. So I'm going to take this out of there, I'm going to slice it up, and then I'll show you what's next. Alright, so while my chicken is cooling, I'm going to shred this lovely squash, just to show you. You just go right up to the peel and just shred all the way, don't forget the bottom. Alright, so let me finish that. Here we go. So I sliced up, this is half of a breast of chicken, okay? I've got enough chicken to do this again, but um, I like to do Parmesan chicken and cut it up in pieces and put it on a salad or just like this and put it on a salad. That's so good. All right, so I'm gonna put some pasta sauce there. This is my homemade pasta sauce. Use whatever sauce you feel like, like having. And we're gonna put a little bit of sauce in there. Not too much, like that. Right. And I'm going to put three of these lovely slices in there, like so. Like, my goodness, this could feed a family of seven. Isn't that right, Tom? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm using Swiss cheese, that's all up to you. And you can put more sauce if you want to. This will be plenty for us. Uh, Parmesan, or uh provolone cheese is a good cheese too if you want to use shredded mozzarella whatever it's whatever you ha got in the fridge is what i got you know all right so everything is cooked i'm just trying to heat the sketty squash again and just melt the cheese so the bottom turn it off and the top one let's just go to a one we're heating it up a little bit i'm gonna let you know how long i do that Alright guys, we're talking about five minutes. Again, not in a hurry. The cheese is melted. It's still warm right now. As the cheese is melted right now, I'm going to put some fresh parsley on there so it sticks to the cheese and it looks so pretty and gives it a little bit of flavor. Alright, so I'm going to do this for another two minutes. Just to melt the cheese just a little bit longer. And I'll see you in two minutes. Guys, Tom's gonna taste for y'all. Y'all enjoy Tom tasting the food. Go ahead, Tom. Don't poke through the shell now. Oh, that's a big old bite there. Oh, you're getting okay. Tell me, hang on to your uh, your squash. Maybe? No. Okay. Make sure you get some sketty squash in there now. 
I'm gonna. A little bit of sauce. You could put more sauce in there. Tom doesn't like a whole lot of sauce in his, so. I hear some crunch. Mm -hmm. Just be aware, Tom's gonna take a couple more bites. He doesn't like to do anything on the first bite, so. Hey, everyone knows me. Good. Looks like Skitty done it. Mm, that's good. Mm hmm I like it. You like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is good. Cool. Can we have this tomorrow, too? <laughs> That's why we're planting uh, skeddy squash a lot this year. We're going to do a lot of skeddy squash meals like this. Mm. Better than pasta? What do you think? I mean, it's not the same, but... Yeah, it's not the same. It's a good <clears throat> alternative. I like it. All right. I mean, I like it just as much as pasta. You like the breadcrumb? Yeah. Crunchy? Crunchy. All mm -hmm. right. Cool. Well, there you go, guys. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.